hi guys welcome to my channel thank you for joining me today my name is Anne. this is scent Solutions. we're all about perfumes here so if that's the kind of content you like then you're in the right place thank you for joining me thank you for always watching if you always do and if you're subscribed on here thank you for subscribing i appreciate you today we are going to be looking at shegaf oud by swiss arabian and uh, oud bouquet lancome so this is my first from swiss arabian i don't have any swiss arabian perfumes and i also don't own anything from the private line of lancome so this is a first on both sides i have other lancome perfumes but not from their private collection anyways we're going to start with the notes okay so i'll be reviewing them side by side so i just tell you my thoughts immediately shegaf oud has saffron in the opening agar wood and rose in the mid agar wood which of course is oud and praline vanilla at the base same note structure for oud bouquet so they're both rose praline saffron oud combos in terms of performance now these two perfumes are very heavy hitting but i'll start with shagaf oud it's a beast guys this is a beast this will stay the entire day on your skin it will stay the entire day on your clothes i remember that i've used this perfume i've scrubbed my skin and the scent was still there so it's a beast of a perfume when you wear this you have to be committed to smelling this way all day if you wash your clothes chances are that if you don't wash strongly <laughs> you might still have it there after the wash so it's that strong it's extremely potent now oud bouquet is a strong perfume too but definitely not as potent as shegaf oud in terms of longevity to me i get half the longevity of shegaf oud from oud bouquet both on my clothes and on my skin siage projection shegaf oud definitely leads because people will smell you from a mile away i'm telling you when my husband is downstairs and i spray it he knows he'll tell me is that your rose oud that's what he calls it and you know i just know that it projects the siage it is humongous it is it is a beast in that way for oud bouquet interestingly it's it doesn't leave that huge a scent trail. Now, it will create a great scent bubble around me. It fills up the room. So if I walk into the room, yes, people are going to smell me. So it doesn't sit close to the skin, but it doesn't, you know, have the kind of, or leave the kind of trail that Shegaf Oud does. It stays slightly closer to the skin than Shegaf Oud, but still has moderate projection, moderate siage, and the longevity is not bad. It's just that Shegaf is a beast. So in comparison, it sort of pales when it comes to projection and all of that. Now, let's talk about the smell, okay? From Shegaf Oud, you're going to get a sharp alcohol note in the opening. So it opens with a very sharp alcohol that sort of irritates my nose a bit. With this one, immediately you smell, you know, this is heavy on the oud and the sweetness and the rose and the praline. It just comes at you and it's heavy, right? For oud bouquet, the opening is heaven. <laughs> the opening is heaven in oud bouquet. I actually wish that opening lasted a little longer because that caramel is one of the most realistic caramels i've ever smelled guys when i smell that caramel i can literally picture a ladle right with caramel dripping off it that's how realistic it is in oud bouquet i think that the lactonic accord is sort of played up in oud bouquet you get a silky smooth consistency especially with that caramel oh my god it's very seductive very feminine it is i feel like 
eating myself honestly like it is that yummy it is a yummy 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 fragrance before you now get into the rose and the oud and then the oud is such that if you're not somebody who is very used to oud you can still play around with this right with shagaf oud it's not like the oud is so much but then there's just an intensity to the sweetness and eventually, it does get to the oud bouquet scent. Like at the base and the final dry down, they're pretty much 85 to 90% similar, right? But there's a journey to that dry down that is definitely not the same for both fragrances. No, they dry down similar, but the journey there is definitely different. Oud bouquet gives you silk, soft, glamour, elegance sensual creamy like tonic all that good stuff shagaf oud gives you strength boldness presence so it's two different things two different vibes but they dry down to the same rose praline vanilla type of thing so that's what you're going to get from these two fragrances same dry down 85 percent similar but the journey, totally different. My preference is definitely Oud Bouquet. I just feel like it is such a luxurious, rich, elegant perfume. Shagaf Oud is a performer. So this will take the boxes if you like strong, heavily present, beast mode type of fragrances. Shagaf Oud is your jam because eventually you're going to get to the destination. So it's like going to the same place, but one person goes in a private jet, some other person goes maybe in a bus or something. <laughs> okay, you're both going to get there, but the experience will be different. So in terms of, um, yeah, which one I would recommend, I would say that if you're just if you want to get to the end destination, i.e., you're looking for a sweet rose oud praline vanilla combo, shagaf oud. I mean, of course, it's a fraction of the price, so it will definitely be your jam. If you can accommodate the strength of the scent and you know how intense it is, then shagaf is your jam. But if you if you're looking for something of higher quality if you want something more luxurious if you really want to savor the experience before you get to the dry down then oud bouquet is your jam there you have it guys my thoughts on these two fragrances i would say that oud bouquet in my humble opinion leans a little bit more feminine than shagaf oud shagaf oud too is feminine in the sense that i mean it has the typical trappings of a feminine fragrance you know rose sweetness all that but i guess there's something about the strength of it that also adds a bit of a masculine touch and that's all in my head but you know that's just my opinion anyway guys so that's my view on these two perfumes. Let me know what you think about both of them. Have you used them? What do you think? So I see you on another video. Enjoy the rest of your day or night. Bye, guys.